So I'm here representing Lake Elementary School District. My name's Nicole Baker. I'm the superintendent and principal, and on most days I'm also the tech coordinator, counselor, plant manager, nurse, testing coordinator, but most importantly, I'm a daughter, I'm a wife, and I'm a mother. Um, so where the heck is Lake Elementary School? So Sacramento, we're about an hour and 40 minutes north of Sacramento. Most of the real estate agents will tell you that we're 20 minutes west of Chico. That seems to be a high selling point um, for those of you that <laughs> might be uh, in the Chico area. So that's where is Lake Elementary. So who is Lake Elementary School? This is us, 175 kids, a one school school district. Um, we got recognized this year for a gold um, ribbon award, which we're very proud of. It's been one of my goals. I've been there for four years. And I, when I came in four years ago, I'm saying, we're going to get recognized. And so this year was, was really awesome for us. Um, I bought t-shirts for everybody. And we have um, pictures um, to prove it. And uh, so, so you'll see we're, we're not in a town. Um, when the north wind blows, this dairy over here, we can smell it. And um, we get flood irrigation to, to um, water our field. And at the same time, the cows over here got out. And the highlight story of the week was Mrs. Baker putting the cows back into the, uh, the neighbor. So uh, this is us. We have about 20 staff members, 10 full-time teachers, um, 10 classified. About half those are full-time, the other half obviously part-time. Um, so that's us. So our innov oh, and so every every decision we make, every minute, and it doesn't matter who it is. If it's my secretary, if it's the custodian who's also the bus driver and the groundskeeper, um, every decision we make is is like everybody else in here. We're answering what's best for kids, not what's best for us, but what's best for kids. Um, so with that. Our innovative journey, or our innovative practice that I want to share with you today really began at Fall Q 2014. Um, so this, this failed attempt of spelling Panthers, we're the Lake Panthers, okay? <laughs> this is my team. So I'm the Growling Panther, okay, pretty scary. Um, we get, we're really good with the P. We got a pretty good R going here and an S, but my favorite is probably the upside down exclamation point. So yeah. <laughs> that's us. So while we were at Q, there was this thing in 2014 called Genius Hour. So this was October 2014. And it really kind of resonated with my teachers, um, my one teacher in fourth grade, my one teacher in fifth grade, you know, because single school or single classrooms. Um, so we really got talking at Q and said, what would this look like at Lake Elementary School? So because we're a small school district, we couldn't quite manage um, the hour. So we, we called it Power 30. So every Friday, kids would come to school and for 30 minutes, from 8.30 to 9, they got to choose whatever they were passionate about. And we had locations across the campus that, were, that the, the teachers were located, and um, it, it was awesome. We never had a kid tardy that day. Matter of fact, I got complaints from parents because <laughs> the kids wanted to be at school early so they could sign up for Power 30. They'd sign up anything that they wanted, but we had limit. That it was 20 kids per, per event. Um, uh, so the kids wanted to be there early. So Fridays and tardies, it was awesome. Um, so, oh wait, I'm kind of stealing my own thunder. So two minutes, okay. Um, that then evolved in, we, we sat down with the kids at the end of that uh, two years ago and said, what was your highlight to this year? And everybody's power 30. We got, we got to do more Power 30. So I sat down with the students. I said, OK, if you could do with more, more with Power 30, what would you do? And so they brainstormed. And we, we made a list. And I sat down with my teachers. And said, if we could offer more, what would we do? And we brainstormed. And we came. And we, we took an old idea of electives. I know it's kind of boring. I wish we had another name for it. Because electives is, you know, we all know what an elective is. Our kids didn't because we'd never offered it to them because we were so small. You know, we didn't have elective teachers. So we took that brainstorming idea and what, what were my teachers passionate about? What were my students passionate about? And we inspired so many things. So first year, we had outdoor skills. My exclamation, my upside down exclamation point, he's MacGyver on his off life and taught some survival skills for our kids. They now make survivor manuals to share with parents and, and other things. But those are some of the things that we started with. Um, we do have a study skills that, that is teacher um, directed. <laughs> so if a student is getting a C or lower, they do have to take the study skills for a trimester. But these are some of the things. My, my K3 group got into the electives as well as now they open up their classroom to some of our students who may want to be a teacher. Have you, <laughs> what an idea at this little Lake Elementary School. We have, we have kids that talk about wanting to be teachers because we have such great teachers. And now they have an opportunity to get into the classroom. Blue Crew News is probably one of my favorites. It's housed in my office. We do 
do it. I gave um, four kids an iPad and iMovie, and now they produce the Blue Crew News that every kid on our campus sees on Monday mornings um, via our website. Some new things, I hired a new teacher. Um, he, I sat down with him for a few minutes, talked about electives, and he goes, oh, I want to do speech and debate one trimester, and then the next one, I think I could do the Nature Bowl. And, and so there's some really neat things. Just on a few weeks ago, I got a... a a text message from my sixth grade teacher who's phenomenal. She goes, we need to be teaching a foreign language to our kids. I want to teach Spanish. I don't know a lick of Spanish. My accent is terrible, but I can teach and I'm going to do it. This is what's inspiring our kids. It's awesome. So with that, um, we have the, the gears, the time and space. We're utilizing our 5.6 acres and all the space that we have. We use our bus barn for the, survive, the outdoor skills um, classroom so that band can go into the fifth grade classroom and play. The personalized develop, uh, professional development for both our teachers and our kids is amazing. These kids are growing in leaps and bounds. The thing that I want to hone in on is where do these electives and the passion, the excitement that's happening during this time link to not only the academic success of the kids, but the social and emotional improvement in our kids. And then money, we didn't go into this with any money. I kept going to my business manager and said, I need like 50 bucks for Makerspace because I, I have to buy some batteries and some circuits. And so I'm looking at next year, we have a little bit more money set aside for our electives because I don't know what's going to happen. Um, so that's it. Thank you. Um, any questions? Here's how you, where you can find me. Thank you.